So on my anticubic costal delta linear plus 3P printer on a 240 mil build plate with a hot bed, heat bed, building a Spider-Man vase in vase mode using the Kira settings, using the 4.0 beta version. Um, I've never actually used vase mode before. It seems to be doing okay. I'm not sure yet. According to the slicer, which I'm watching on the computer behind you, is where it's supposed to be. There's a couple holes, but I had one over here earlier that it came back and filled in. It was part of the part of the webbing on his costume. We'll see how it goes. But you can see some blue build tech tape on my bed heater or my bed, which is holding down the magnetic. Well, what used to be a magnetic bed. Apparently, when they say it can handle 100 degrees Celsius, they meant 10 degrees Celsius. Because all I print is PLA at 60 degrees Celsius. This is like my fourth print, and the magnet's pretty much shot. I don't have another uh, bed cover to put on it, a build tack bed to put on it. Because initially this worked great, so I tore my old one off. And if you've ever told tore a bed tack bed cover off, they never come off in one piece. Pretty much ruined it. So we'll let this run. See how it comes out. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a couple issues with it. I'm going to turn the light on here for a second. Uh, so there's this hole. And then there's one there. So I don't know if it's going to catch itself and fill them in or not. But we'll just let it run. and Unless it gets to the point where it's just a spaghetti mess. Or spaghetti monster, as Tom calls it, I think. We'll just let it go. However, it just gets to the point where it's just a, a total loss. I'm kind of interested to see how well it can do. It's a 10 hour build. We're actually already two hours into it. I wanted to get up past the base because I knew the base would come out pretty good. It was just a square. But the, the bust itself that it's trying to do and the webbing and the details on it is what I was really worried about. Now it's normally completely infilled and then you can do that wherever settings. I mean even a 10% infill would have gave it enough support to hold itself. It's just because, well, I've never used it and I want to see how well it can do. I've got my printer dialed in pretty damn good except for that magnetic bed that, as it doesn't stick in the middle, it kind of raises up just a hair. That's why I have the tape on it holding it down. If you buy a bed heater or a bed magnetic thing, and I have no brand loyalty to anybody, nobody, you know, I buy all my stuff, um, but the Creality, the Creality magnetic bed seems to be the best from the reviews I've seen on YouTube. These cheap little round ones off Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, Banggood. My experience, they're not worth a shit. Um, like I said, I only print PLA, so I don't get the bed any hotter than 60 degrees Celsius. And it killed the magnets. They lasted about four prints, like I said earlier. But I'm going to let this run. See how it does, and yes, you can hear my printer. I'm still running the A4988s. Um, I was going to upgrade to the TMC. I think the 21, 2201s can go in here on the Tri Gorilla board. But you know what? It works. I've got it dialed in. I kind of like the noise anyway. 
I am, uh, and again, I'm not brand loyal to anybody for anything. I uh, have actually ordered the any cubic Chiron. It's a 400 by 400 by 450 millimeter bed. And on that one, we may upgrade right away to the 2208 TMC drivers, just because. Before I even use it, I might just swap them out and put them in. Supposedly, they make it dead silent. Because this one, I've gotten used to it making the noise that it makes. And I'm kind of used to that. I keep watching the YouTube videos on those TMC 2208s. They all say the same thing. They keep turning around to look at it. Is it running? Did it power off? So if they're actually that quiet. Hmm. And actually now that I'm sitting here, it sounds more like the the pulleys up top are what are squeaking. I may have to give them a little drop of oil. That seems to be where the squeak is coming from. Yeah, all that creaking's the pulleys at the top. Now that I'm sitting on top of it, I can hear that. I don't know. There's a lot of holes there in the front. The back and the sides are actually pretty good. But the front, what you're seeing, is where the, the webbing on the costume is. And there's a few holes in him. Well, I'm going to let it keep running and see what happens. Yeah, there's holes all over him in there. Huh. The back looks perfect. But it's all leaning in, so why wouldn't it? Well, I'm still going to let it go. It's not a spaghetti mess. It'll be a, a learning experience. What not to do? Oh.
we're finally up past the chin. And like I said, once we had that, the shoulders built up, the rest looks pretty damn good. The sides look good, the back, the chin. That's pretty good. Front right there and the both your shoulders. So a little light on for a moment. Keep in the back. That looked too bad. I mean, first time doing this kind of print out. Got a hole in his head. Unfortunately, didn't come out so well. <laughs> 